Today, we're going to learn how to multiply two two-digit numbers together. First, let's review multiplying a two-digit number by a one-digit number, like in the problem 32 times 4. We'll want to rewrite the numbers so they're on top of each other like this. Then we'll multiply the ones together. So I'm multiplying four times two, which is eight, and I'll put that in the ones place of my answer. Then I'll multiply by the tens place. So four times three, which is 12, and I'll add that to my answer. And that's it, we have our answer. 32 times four is 128. Now let's try two digits times two digits, like in the problem 21 times 32. To start, I just want you to ignore that extra digit we added to the second number. Ignore the three. Let's just pretend like it's not there because we know how to multiply 21 times two. First, we would do two times one, which is two, and then we would do two times two, which is four. Easy enough. Now we'll add that digit back to the second number and take it from there. It's time to multiply the new digit by the top number. We're going to be multiplying 21 times three and we're gonna put our answer right here in this box, underneath our answer from the first digit. But before we do that, we'll need to add a zero in the ones place of our second number right here. And that's because that three isn't really a three, it's actually a 30. So by adding this zero, we can keep its value. Now we'll multiply 21 times three and we'll put our answer right next to the zero in that bottom box. I'm gonna do three times one, that's three. And then I'm gonna multiply three times two, which is six. The last step is to add the two numbers together. I have 42 and 630. Let's add them together to get our final answer. Two plus zero is two, four plus three is seven, and six plus nothing is six. We have our answer. 21 times 32 is 672. Let's try another one. Remember, First, we're gonna multiply 42 times four. We're just gonna ignore that one in 14 and we're gonna multiply 42 times four and that is gonna go right here in this box to make our first number. Then we're gonna multiply the 42 times the one to create a second number. But don't forget, there's always going to be a zero here in the ones place of the second number. And that's because that one in 14 isn't actually a one, it's a 10. So by placing that zero, we're able to keep its value. Let's give it a try. 42 times four, that's all I'm focusing on to begin with. I'll do four times two, which is eight, and then I'll do four times four, which is 16. All right, moving on to 42 times one. But before I do that, remember, I have to add that zero in the ones place of the second number. Now I can think about 42 times one. One times two is two, and one times four is four. Remember the last step is just to add the two numbers together. 168 plus 420. Eight plus zero is eight. Six plus two is eight and one plus four is five. We have our answer. 42 times 14 is 588. Here are some reminders. Multiply the top number by the ones place of the bottom number. That's going to make your first number in your answer. Add a zero beneath the ones place of your answer to begin the second number in your answer. Then multiply the top number by the tens place of the bottom number and put the answer beside the zero. Now you should have 
two numbers written under the equal sign. The last step is just to add the two numbers together to get your final answer.